up next, it's a heavyweight title fight between Cain Velasquez and top-level submission fighter Fabrizio Verdun. Fabrizio Verdun making his way to the octagon with just one goal in mind, and that is to become the new UFC heavyweight champion. Fabricio Verdun may have the best ground game in the history of the heavyweight division. He is a world-class Brazilian jiu-jitsu fighter who has since improved his striking in leaps and bounds. Fabricio Verdun enters the octagon, and he's ready to fight. Making his way to the octagon, looking to once again defend the title. Cain Velasquez started out as a wrestler and has become one of the most intimidating heavyweight strikers in UFC history. He throws very accurate, extremely powerful punches, whether he's standing or using his ground and pound. is ready to defend his UFC Heavyweight Championship. Our tale of the tape for this Heavyweight Championship fight, the American is 33, the Brazilian is 38. He is three inches taller, the reach is identical. And now with our official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Verdeen. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. <laughs> Six losses and one draw. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 239 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, presenting the challenger, the Mauricio. And now we can see the champion fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 14 wins, two losses. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 240 pounds. Fighting out of San Jose, California, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Ken. This is for the championship. You've been given your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Cain Velasquez. Fabricio Verdun. Here we go! Championship fight. Five five-minute rounds. Fabricio Verdun has an advantage on the ground against almost anyone in the world today. And one thing to look out for are his takedowns. He wants to grab a hold of his opponent and bring this fight into his world. There's that big jab. Good job blocking the punch. Using his jab very well. 
Nice jab. He misses with the left hook. Great job blocking that punch. Big shot. And Joe, you and I both know that King Velasquez has the skills to knock anybody out. Velasquez gets him in the plum. Nice elbows to the head. Ah, the crowd reacts to King Velasquez. He's in a better position here with the tie clinch. Under three now. He gets the over-under. Wow, beautiful throw. Looking to pass guard. Great movement on the ground. Velasquez gives up his back. Oh, big right Down hand. With the right hand. Flatten him out. Great transitions on the ground. He's in full guard. He's got his opponent pressed up against the cage. Good transition into half guard. Velasquez gets it back to guard. They are really battling for position in the clinch. And they're free. Knee to the midsection. The longtime Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt, Fabricio Verdun, to take that. Quick jab connects. That's a big takedown late in the round. Oh, looking for his back. And we just witnessed how good his jiu-jitsu game is. Keep striking it. He has more defense for it. Look here. Let's take a look at some of the action from that round. And here's a nice punch that lands clean. And here's another punch that sneaks through. And here's another perfectly placed punch. Incredible highlights in that round. The lovely Brittany and our crew happy to be here tonight. You ready to fight? Ready. The Good. battle continues round two. As this battle continues, the champion continues to showcase his skills. He continues to show us why he has a UFC belt. He has been the better fighter thus far, but we've got a long way to go. Verdun with the jab. Man, consistent use of the jab. Outstanding. He's keeping busy here, connecting with a lot of punches. Oh, hit him with a big knee. He connects on a nice combination. Joe, that is some big output. Look at the leg kicks left. And he's going to try to take the back. And a heavy right oh, hand. That was a very hard right hand. Oh, man. champion and connects with the jab and he lands with the left goes for a single holding that front headlock position 
One arm guillotine here. He got out of that choke. Straight to the body by Verdun. Gabe Velasquez is continuing to punish that wounded eye. And you can see that the swelling continues to get worse and worse. He's absolutely targeting that eye. You can clearly see, and he's landing combinations on it repeatedly. Man, Joe, he is truly showcasing his striking skills. Velasquez with a solid jam. That eye swole up so quick, Mike. You gotta wonder whether or not that's a fractured orbital. He got tagged there. Good block. Damaging leg kick. Oh! What an exchange! Big punch by Velasquez. What a huge right hand! Caught him with a big right hand. There he is! Got the takedown. And the round comes to a close, and what a statement he made with that takedown. Let's take a look at some of the action here. Here we see some high-level striking, great accuracy on that punch. And here's another punch that sneaks through. And there's some devastating judo. The beautiful Ariani. Ready to fight. Ready. And we are set for the start of round three. This is a championship fight, so it is scheduled for five. Joe, as the battle continues, Fabrizio Verdun's defense must improve because he's eaten a ton of knees tonight. Those knees really got through in a disturbing number. He's got to be able to move and block and counter those knees. Using good footwork here, moving to the right, staying out of the power range of that big right hand. Big Huge right shot hand. with the right. Hard straight punch. Almost caught him. That's a nice hook from the clinch. And they disengage from the clinch. Hit him with the jab. Man, good exchange between both these fighters. Joe, you can see this was part of the game plan. Utilize the jab. Keep your opponent at distance. He's doing an outstanding job. His other eye is starting to swell bad. What? That's a damaging knee to the body. Big shots! He's gonna try to take the back, I think. Ninety seconds. And he gets the takedown! Verdun's trying to lock up a submission here. And he's out of the armbar. Big Vicious elbow. elbow lands to the head. Oh, man. Vicious elbow. elbow. Another big elbow. So 
solid right hand. He's got his back now. That's the end of round three. Here we see some high-level striking. Great accuracy on that punch. Here's a perfectly placed knee to the head that lands. And here's very nice timing with this takedown. The beautiful Ariane gets a set for round number four. Ready, ready. Championship rounds. Round four underway. Uncharted territory for a lot of these top contenders, but a place where this champion has fought many times before. What a difference, a five-round fight. This is when many times it just comes down to who wants it more. Joe, they battled for three rounds, and now we move to the championship rounds. What should we look for? The championship rounds is what separates the good fighters from the great fighters, the fighters who work hard to the fighters who literally dedicate every blood, sweat, and... Oh, my goodness! Wow! He's hurt! And stop, it stop, stop. is over! Wow! Cain Velasquez by knockout! Huge knockout victory. Time now for our fight replay. And let's take a look at the replay. This is the shot that drops him. Perfect technique. He's clearly in big, big trouble. Let's take a look at it from another angle here. This is the one that causes the knockdown and the subsequent follow-up strikes for the knockout. Check out this angle here. Boom! And that is all she wrote. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, two seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by a count and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, King Velasquez. King Velasquez remains the UFC heavyweight champion. And once again, a great night of fights. For my partner, Joe Rogan, this is Mike Goldberg saying so long until next time. We see you right back here, inside the Octagon.